So we've been eagerly awaiting the Emu Pro for what feels like years now. I think it has actually been years. Um, but now it's finally materialised and we have a production unit in our hands. So let's have a take a look. So the Emu Black has been the benchmark product for ECU Master for years now. It's not going anywhere because the Pro fits in above this in the range. So we now have the entry level classic. The next level up is the Black. And the Black features e-throttle control and onboard CAN bus. And then on top of that, we now have the Pro, which comes in two different flavours, the Pro 8 and the Pro 16. So the difference between the Pro 16 and the Pro 8 is that the 16 supports 16 injectors, 10 coils, either active or passive. It's got four full H bridges, 28 analog inputs plus 10 digital inputs, whereas the 8 features 8 injectors, 8 coils, either active or passive again, three full H bridges, 20 analog inputs plus 8 digital inputs. And both versions then support two onboard LSU 4.9 lambda sensors. You can control two E throttles, support up to four VVT solenoids, and have two NOx sensor inputs. Um, Limbus support as well, and it's got 500 hertz of data logging. They're also IP65 water and dust rated, which is thanks to the uh, CNC machined aluminium casing and then the new connectors that it uses. Okay, so let's take a look in the box. This is a really early production version that's not its proper packaging um, it's just in the bubble wrap but not that it really matters but it, I've seen the later ones they have got much nicer um, foam packaging so it'd be a lot nicer experience when you actually open the box to this one but that's how we get a little bit quicker to have a look at so first thing in the box we have the connector shells and the contacts these are the AMP super seal type which are fairly standard um, on the ECUs these days uh, and if you're changing from another brand then you probably can just do a repin rather than having to recrimp the connectors. So the first thing you notice about the ECU is its size. The number of inputs and outputs it has is actually a very compact ECU. I was a bit surprised at how small it was in the first couple out of the box. It's got the aluminium machine case so it's styled very much like the black in the classic. You can see it fits in nicely and looks quite out, it doesn't look out of place next to them. The uh, aluminium casing does give it a nice quality feel in your hand, so as opposed to the sort of plastic you used to use out there. Got two mounting holes, so you can mount it securely and it won't rotate or move around. And of course, on the front, you've got the AMP Super Seal connectors. So that's about it for this very first look. Uh, what we'll do next is we'll have a look at the software and see how that works and how it varies from the Black and Classic. I haven't actually seen that for myself yet. It's not available from, uh, to download from the ECU Master website as of yet, but I imagine very soon it will be.